Hi Pisces, welcome to my channel, Badison Intuitive Tarot. In today's reading, we're taking a look at your romantic love life for the remainder of October 2024. I'm going to pull an eight card spread, see who shows up in your reading with romantic intentions towards you. Whether it's someone new or someone that you already know, I will definitely do my best to see what's going on, what your story is with this person, and what are some of the possible challenges that you might, you know, encounter, if any. Just please keep an open mind, Pisces, that I do get very nosy in my readings. I do not sugarcoat my messages. I do not hold back. So if you hear something that does not resonate with you, just let the message go. Only take what resonates. Never give your power away to tarot cards. You're never tied and bound to any outcome in any reading, and you're always in full control over your choices. So with that preamble out of the way, I'm going to get into it. All right, please tap into the energy of Pisces today. What is their weekly love message, please? Two more shuffles. Eight card spread. One, two. Let's rock this and deck for my beautiful water babies. All right, Pisces, the person coming towards you this week, what are their feelings for you? We have the Ace of Cups. This is water energy showing up. Their intentions with you. The Eight of Wands, that's fire energy. Looks good so far. I don't want to get too excited though. Their behavior and actions this week. The Two of Pentacles, Earth energy. Your feelings towards this person this week, Pisces? The Two of Cups, dang. All right, let me just see the rest of the spread. What's the potential challenge this week? Nine of Swords, air energy. Now we have all elements on the board, all elements, air, water, fire, and earth. Your potential weekly outcome, Pisces? The King of Swords, Aquarius energy. Some of the game ready to speak up about something. Your advice, Ace of Wands. Hmm. The overall energy influencing you the most this week, the Tower, Judgment, and Temperance. Oh my Lanta. Pisces. Why is everyone getting this card? Um, that is a lot of activity here. There's something going on here, but it feels good. It feels good. Let me just put that out there. I don't want you thinking that it's bad stuff. No, it feels really good. It feels like um, you're about to go through a serious change around this time frame, and it's not just included with the love story. I feel like this is a change that carries its weight into your personal life, your career, your financial life, a whole bunch of different stuff going on. It's like um, Scorpio season is not playing around when it comes to you. All right, something big is changing. But when it comes to your love life, because this is a love reading, it feels like you are getting ready to start something brand new with somebody. I just need to do some more digging to see if it's a new person or a new beginning with someone that you've already been there, done that with. And with the Ace of Cups being their feelings, the Ace of Wands as your advice, that is showing me some sort of new opportunity for, for you and another person to get much, much closer. With your feelings being the Two of Cups and their feelings being the Ace of Cups, it does feel like you're on the same page with somebody this week. Someone's got like hearts in their eyes this week. All right, um, Two of Cups plus Ace of Cups is the Three of Cups. So this could be someone that you've been dating for a few weeks, three months maybe for some of you. And for others, it, it may be also telling me that I've got a Pisces that may be discovering a friendship is not just a friendship, that there's more romance involved. If something started off as friendship first. But if that's not the case, we'll get to there. With this person's feelings being the Ace of Cups and their intentions being the Eight of Wands, that's a whole lot of back and forth communication. I see a lot of texting back and forth between the two of you, you guys making plans for the weekend, you guys hanging out for dinner. There's just this energy of a lot of activity going on. It's like, this is not just internet communication. This is like you guys hanging out in person and really connecting with each other. I got this card in Capricorn's reading, so I'm not sure if you're connecting with a Capricorn. But I am getting that you guys are going back and forth, trying to negotiate plans for the weekend. I'm strongly getting that, okay? And if it's not plans for the weekend, it's just a plan in general. Um, I need to investigate why the Nine of Swords is in the challenge position first. Because when the Nine of Swords shows up in the challenge position, there, there might be a fear of 
speaking up about something like someone someone's a little anxious about saying what's on their mind like there might be something that someone wants to address first before things get any more serious who else did I say that for I could have sworn I said that for somebody was it Libra was it Scorpio I don't remember um, all right so let's just clarify let's break it down but to have three major arcanas as the overall supportive energy tells me that there's something happening. I feel like I have a Pisces that is undergoing a serious change in their life. You're taking advantage of that Pluto energy and you're like, all right, time to make some uncomfortable changes in order to have positive changes happen in my life. Clarify this person's feelings for Pisces. Why the Ace of Cups? Someone's looking at you as a rare opportunity, you know, because I see this person opening up this clamshell and seeing a pearl. Queen of Swords and the King of Swords. And then I see the Page of Cups. And we already have the King of Swords right here. This person is feeling ready to have a conversation with you. It feels like there's something that they want to address with you. And see how you feel about them after you hear what they have to tell you. Kind of feels like that. You know, it kind of feels like one of those situations where it's like, all right, Pisces, you and I have been getting a lot closer. We have been hanging out with each other a lot more. I feel like it's time that, you know, we start to like really like, you know, say some things that both of us should know before we take this any further. You know, like like things that you don't share with just anybody, Pisces. You know, you wouldn't tell, you know, someone that you're casually dating, you know, some very deep things that are really sacred to you. You share it with someone that you feel like, all right, this person is actually going to be in my life for a while. I feel like I need to like get this out in the open. That's what it feels like. It feels like you both are doing that this week. You guys are like really like going there with some sort of conversation. And it, it, it opens up more room for vulnerability. Someone might also have a child. Someone might be a single mom, single dad. Maybe someone's opening up about the fact that they have a child and they never mention it because they thought the connection was not going to be long term. Um, that's not for everybody. Hmm. Give me another card on how this person feels about Pisces this week. Someone wants to be a fly on the wall of your life. Someone wants to know what you're thinking too because I'm looking at that big old fly. It's like someone wants to know a lot about you. Clarify again this person's feelings for Pisces. The world card. This is the energy of ready for a new milestone to be reached. For the relationship to go to the next level. And I say that because it's, it's clarifying the original card which was about a new beginning. Okay? Because sometimes the world card could indicate closing a chapter with someone and saying adios amigo. But when it's clarifying a, the original feeling which was I want a new beginning with you it means going into a, a new direction okay I'm also seeing this mirror as if someone's standing in front of a mirror um, practicing what they want to say to somebody like seeing how they look saying it the wheel of fortune with all these clocks here someone's feeling like the time is near who else got that um, Capricorn, I think, got that, or it was um, uh, Aquarius. All right, let me dive into your feelings, and then we'll circle back to this person. Someone here might be a divorcee. I'm getting that also. Someone may have been already married before and divorced, and may be sharing that for the first time. Maybe someone's discovering that for the first time because of that Queen of Swords. Uh, and it usually shows up as a divorcee. Two of Cups is your feelings. For some of you, you didn't expect to de develop feelings for this person. Maybe you wrote them, wrote them off as just a friend. Maybe they were just not your usual type that you date. Why the Two of Cups? Why the Two of Cups? Why the Two of Cups? The sun. This person makes you happy. Um, but I'm also getting that that sun references someone highlighting some things that need to be 
brought to this situation in order for this relationship to even continue having a chance. And I'm seeing that sun rising in the background of this card. I see the sun here and I see the sun right here. Okay. It's, it's definitely telling me that you feel like this person is exposing more to you. You feel like this person is sharing more about them so that you see them a lot more clearly. And you are the moon card, Pisces. You're the moon card. And when you look at temperance, the sun and the moon. Even though this is lightning, I still consider that like the moon energy. The moon energy. Creating a nice balance. Could be a Leo that you're connecting to. And then I say that and I see the strength card, Leo energy. Four of Cups is Cancer energy. Knight of Pentacles is Virgo. Six of Wands, Leo. Give me more on how Pisces feels about this person. It's like you're seeing something more clearly and it's helping you understand something, Pisces. Why are the Two of Cups in the Sun? That freaking Ace of Cups. You both have the exact same card. And then I see Temperance, which shows me a woman watering a plant. As if to say, I'm going to nurture this garden. I'm going to give to it. Ace of Cups twice. When you look at the Two of Cups card, Pisces, it's Ace of Cups in your hand, Ace of Cups in your person's hand. And you guys are exchanging cups in each other's hands. You guys are exchanging your cups. Um, we have Temperance twice. This is the energy of feeling like the connection balances you out. That yin and yang energy. It's like you guys are discovering, okay, your weaknesses are my strengths. My weaknesses are your strengths. We could actually make this work. You know? It's like you're dealing with someone that completes you. Even though you complete yourself, don't get it twisted. You, get, you complete yourself. But I'm talking about in a relationship aspect, you guys complete each other. Okay? Don't want no one putting no words in my mouth. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at this person's intentions. We have the Eight of Wands. Is that a garbage truck I hear? Today's not garbage day. Yeah, it is. Never mind. Why the Eight of Wands? 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 Three of Wands. The Eight of Wands as intentions along with the Three of Wands, that's the energy of intending to see progress and see what happens next, being open to the possibilities. I, I'm strongly getting somebody here that's like, I'm open to seeing where this goes if you're open as well. But if we are going to make this move forward, we really got to really be honest with each other about, you know, things that, you know, if it were to come up in the future, we'd be upset at each other if it was not talked about first. Strongly getting that. And I got that, I think, in Virgo's reading. No, it wasn't Virgo. It may have been. So you guys may have started dating in Virgo season. Eight of Wands, Ten of Wands. And then I see the Three of Swords. Clarify the Nine of Swords in the challenge position. The Nine of Swords, that's the energy of, like, coming in with, you know, fears, insecurities. Seven of Wands. And then the Seven of Wands is all about defending oneself or feeling put against, you know, being put against the wall, feeling like you have no choice but to explain yourself in some regard, okay? There might be something that this person feels like they need to share with you, but they know that once they reveal it, they're going to have to def defend themselves or explain themselves in some way, whether it's you being like, hey, why don't you tell me this much sooner? I should have known this sooner. Or... They're explaining what, what, whatever this is so that way you understand where they're coming from a little bit more if it's not you being upset with them. Hmm, interesting. You're definitely finding out something that's going to shock you, surprise you, kind of like leave you feeling like, oh man, really? But I don't get it's, it's enough for you to be like, you know what, I don't want to be with this person. I feel like it's going to help you guys come together a bit. It's like, um, I don't know. I feel like whatever this is that they're sharing with you, it's going to help you understand them a little bit more and where they come from, what their journey has been about. Yeah, I got that message during a crisis reading. All right, let's take a look at this person's behavior. Let's clarify. 
This, this is definitely someone that's trying to like create a nice balance for themselves in their life. They're trying to like not overextend themselves, not do too little, too much. The Ten of Pentacles. So this is someone that's going back and forth with you on whether or not you guys have what it takes to have a future together because this is someone that's not playing around. This is someone that's like, I want to find my mate. Are you that person? What do you feel about me? It feels like you guys are having a serious heart-to-heart -heart conversation this week. It feels like it's in person. It doesn't feel like it's a text text message. I feel like these are the type of conversations you want to have in person anyways. But if you guys live far away from each other, then maybe texting is all you can do. But I am getting like a face-to-face -face conversation where you guys are just like letting it all on the table. No pun intended. Queen of Cups. That's someone in love. Queen of Cups, that's that's understanding one's feelings, being mature about the feelings. It's not fleeting feelings. Clarify the King of Swords for Pisces Weekly Outcome. The Moon. Tapping into that moon energy and then bringing in the sun. That's, that's the balance I was talking about. That's, that's no longer hiding behind the moon, hiding behind a mask. It's being like, hey, here's me. I'm going to be more open now. You know, I feel like you both are like, all right, well, now you shared that with me. I'm going to share this with you. It feels like that. It feels like one of those, you know, I'll show you mine, you show me yours sort of situations where you guys are like taking turns sharing some things. Justice. There might be some karma here. For someone here, someone may be like coming back around to explain some previous behaviors, especially if there was like something that created a, a blockage for the two of you or you had a block there, a number, or you felt blocked. That's not for everybody. Clarify the Ace of Wands for Pisces advice. The Metamorphosis card and the Messenger card and the Ace of Wands again. They're showing me that you're getting a message Okay, whether a message to meet up for the weekend, to have a sit down conversation with you, or they're going to actually say a lot in this message, if this is someone that struggles with saying things in person. But they're showing me that whatever this is, it's going to create a lot of change. I feel like I've gotten this before for you. I think it was in September. No, August. No, September. I don't freaking remember. But it, it is telling me that Something that you guys are going to share is going to help the connection or you to have some sort of freedom on how to move forward with that butterfly. I need to get more clarifiers, but I'm going to use a different set of cards. Let me just clarify the overall energy really quick, and then I'm going to get some more clarifiers on this person's feelings and what that challenge is all about. I want to just dive deeper into that challenge position. All right, please clarify the overall energy for me. Why the temperance, judgment, and the tower? Oh, wow, the nine of wands. Someone's pretty much saying, all right, I've been through a lot of crap, but I'm still not giving up on myself. I just need to wear extra protection is all. The nine of wands is the wounded warrior. It's someone that's been beat down time and time again, but gets back up stronger than before. The page of wands, the death card. Ten of Cups. Hmm. Someone may also have a complicated relationship with their mom. Or a sister. Yeah, I'm getting a sister. A mother figure. That might give someone a little bit of an insight on who this person is. It's not going to be for everybody. But I am getting that you or your person has a very complicated relationship with a, a feminine energy. Whether a sister or a mom. And put this person through a lot of crap. And they're opening up to you about it to get some comfort. Because you are the feminine energy. You are the moon card. You're very feminine in your way of doing things regardless of your gender. You're very nurturing. You're, you, just don't be an emotional dumping ground for anybody. I said that same thing during Scorpio's reading. You can be there for people. Just don't be everyone's emotional dumping ground. Because that's going to wear you down. But it does feel like someone is coming towards you wanting to like... Reveal some things. Maybe they're ashamed of the fact that maybe they have a, a troubling relationship with their family. Um, and they're wanting to create their own family. 
Give me another card on the overall energy. Judgment. Scorpio energy. And I got the judgment here. And then I got the star. This is someone that's trying to create a new life for themselves. And I'm strongly getting that they have had like a unique relationship with family members. And they're trying to create their own family. They might still be close with certain family members. But it's looking like they're trying to create their own family with someone. Like, you know, building it with you. Then extending off of that. Something like that. This person is trying to have a new life for themselves. So let me get some more clarifiers. Oh crap, did I pull my microphone? Okay. okay. All right, put you over here. These are called the B Tarot. They're not gonna be in the description box, but it's called the B Tarot. All right, please dive into this person's feelings again towards Pisces. They're looking for some comfort, that's for sure. I just saw the card with two people hugging each other. I'm struggling again that someone's hoping that you'll give them a nice good hug. The Emperor. So clarifying their feelings, I got the Emperor. That's the energy of feeling ready to take control of something. Take control, take accountability, take ownership, take, take the lead maybe. Page of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles again. The Hermit. Clarify again Pisces feelings for this person. Show me again Pisces feelings for this person. The Five of Pentacles, that's the card that I was just talking about where I said I saw two people hugging each other. You may feel like this person's coming to you during a time of need and you're offering support. Whether or not you feel like they deserve it, you're still giving it. For some of you, someone may be using a traumatic experience as a way to get closer to you. Okay, like if you guys did have like a rocky last few weeks together, last few months, they might be going through a challenge in their personal life and you're the one that they thought of to, to come and talk to to get some sort of comfort again just don't be a someone's emotional dumping ground and once you comfort them they're gone you know but i don't feel like it's that that's the case here the full ace of cups and just you're my top priority pisces cross watcher you're my top priority in your reading <laughs> um but let's let's look at the challenge again Someone's tying up some loose ends when it comes to their last patch of the, la the last few years. Like someone's tying up some loose ends on a the last cycle that they went through. King of Pentacles. Ten of Cups. Yeah. Someone's having trouble with their family. I'm strongly getting that. I feel like this person's wanting to come and tell you that they came from like maybe a dysfunctional family and they're wanting you to know about that before you guys get much closer to each other. It's like this person saying to you, Pisces, now before we continue our relationship, I got to let you know that uh, I don't really want to introduce you to my family. I feel like my family is kind of complicated. Uh, what do you feel about that? How close are you with your family is what this person may be saying to you. That is a very specific message for somebody. And if it's not your situation, don't force it. Doesn't mean the rest of the reading is not yours. But someone needed to hear that message. Someone here may be wondering, why haven't I met this person's family yet? Okay? Now I'm sure you're meeting their friends or people that they consider like family, but I am getting that this person's got like a situation where they don't like, I'm strongly getting like a sister. I'm strongly getting, if it wasn't for my sister, I, I would be able to introduce you to the family or something like that. Like there's like a hostile sister, I don't know. Something like that. That's getting too specific. So I'm gonna leave it alone. Anything else for Pisces before I pull the hidden message? The Knight of Pentacles. So yeah, and there's the Nine of Wands. So someone's coming towards you very slowly but steadily, getting ready to like lay down a deeper foundation for the two of you by totally like opening up about some things. Okay, and I got that for Aquarius and Capricorn. So you might be dealing with those zodiac signs or 
those seasons coming through are coming in important. So for zodiac signs that came through this reading, Pisces, I have strong water, so Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I have strong Leo energy here. I have Aquarius here. Um, Aries. Those are the main ones that wanted to come through, but it could be any zodiac sign, so try not to force. Don't worry about the zodiac sign. Also, if you haven't already checked out the October Monthly, it's in my October playlist, and I also did another weekly for you. And every Sunday morning at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, I go live with the All Signs Their Feelings for You spread Pisces. I will link in the description box below this video the most recent All Signs reading I did, because that message is good for the week ahead. So, so if you want another love message, all you do is click on that All Signs reading in the description box below, look for the Pisces timestamp, boom, you get another message. Please rock that like and subscribe button for your girl. And if you'd like to book a private reading with me, Pisces, the link to my website can be found in the description box below of every video. BadisonIntuitiveTarot.com. That's two Ds, not one for Badison. We were too different. That's why I'm with someone similar to me. What the fudge? Someone didn't want to challenge themselves. I'm, I still feel connected to you, but I've waited too long to reach out. Is it too late for us? This is for those who are in no contact with their person. I don't, whoever resonated with this reading, I feel like you are in contact with this person. Okay, so this is for the no contact group, I feel. I'm still trying to find a place for myself in the world. I'm feeling lost and I don't know what to do about it. Wow, those two cards are kind of similar. I'm strongly getting if someone is struggling with a connection with their, their bloodline, um, they're feeling lost because when you don't feel a close connection to your, your bloodline family, but you don't have anyone else, it's a really scary place to be in at times. You know, so I feel like someone's trying to create their own family with, you know, other people that they meet that are like-minded. All right, so I hope this reading helps, Pisces. I'll check back with you in a few days to do your November monthly. Um, till then, smile to your cheeks hurt. I love ya. Take care. Namaste.